almost exactly a month since the volcanic eruption on the island of La Palma was officially declared over, scientists have ventured inside the crater of the Cumbre Vieja, hoping to collect valuable data on the 85-day eruption, which was the longest ever recorded in the island's history. One thing that stands out, even when you've done this many times, is its size. Once you're inside, you realize it's gigantic. It's still very impressive from a visual perspective, even from kilometers away. The eruption was the most devastating scene in Europe in 80 years, and it was the residents of La Palma who bore the brunt of that devastation. Around 3,000 buildings were destroyed by lava, covering an area of 1,219 hectares. That's equivalent to 1,500 football pitches. Added to that, 7,000 people had to be evacuated, and while many have returned home, for most, life will never be the same. The main challenge for residents and authorities is trying to go back to normal. I say back to normal, but of course, alongside the changes made by the volcano. The island's landscape has changed. Thousands of hectares have been covered by lava, both in populated areas and industrial and farming areas. We will need some really good planning if we're going to go back to normal once again. Another concern for the locals is that while the eruption is now over, the dangers of toxic gases remain. Gases such as sulfur dioxide and methane have been detected in the area and could be harmful to the local population near the volcano. And for the residents of La Palma, a more pressing concern will be the huge cleanup operation, which is only now just beginning. Now, the government of Pedro Sanchez has pledged $453 million to help with reconstruction, but there have already been complaints that that money has been slow in arriving. Many people fearing that life post-volcano could be tougher than during the eruption itself.